I am standing on the south side of A Street on the corner of A and Columbia. You guys may recognize this adorable sign because poof, we were just here a couple months ago. You're like, why are you here again? Well, in my previous video, I told you, you know, stuff changes. They said maybe they'll add more residents, maybe they'll add more hotel rooms, maybe they'll scratch the residents, all that good stuff. Well, guess what? <laughs> they basically scratched the whole project. It's kind of similar. Instead of 19 stories, now we're gonna be at 39 stories. Instead of 367 hotel rooms, they cut some out and we're gonna have 340 hotel rooms. And again, instead of six residential penthouse units at the top of the hotel, we are gonna have 170 apartments there and 11 of them will be low income. This is the lot that has changed. It is in between Columbia and India and on the south side of A Street. So we're going basically almost doubling the size of the place that was gonna be here. And if you guys watch my videos, you know size matters to me. I like height. The skyline, I like height. I'm, I'm, I'm all like 2021-ing it or 2022-ing it when I could be using a robot, an AI. <sighs> what do you guys think about ChatGPT? I actually have used it. It's kind of cool. Did a couple sentences and then used it to give me a verbiage for a listing really controlling so I took some of the verbiage and then made it my own but it's just nice having a free partner in crime to help me out and it just kind of reminds me of batteries not included now I'm aging myself that was my first movie I ever think I saw in the movie theaters if you've watched my other video I did say that there could be changes are coming I didn't see it being doubled in size and being more glorious than kind of the chunky 19 story structure that they were gonna build there but I love it again we're gonna have 170 apartments, 11 low income. We're gonna have 340 hotel rooms. The hotel rooms will consist uh, from the ground level to the 22nd floor. The residents will be from the 23rd floor to the 39th, so 17 for the residents, 22 for the hotel guests. They both will have a common rooftop fitness center and gym and meeting rooms for obviously the people that are staying at the hotel for business. And I assume since people do work from home a lot more for the residences in the apartments can probably also use the meeting rooms. We're on this together. What's also great is there's gonna be five stories of underground parking. You see a lot of projects doing above ground parking to save on time and money. I'm always down for an underground parking. There's gonna be five levels with 267 parking spots. And that's also include spaces for bicycles and our friends who ride motorcycles. There will also be separate storage units within that area as well. The building right there kind of reminds me of a boat. <laughs> <laughs> the way it kind of goes up like that. Yeah. But what I love about Treo is they just had a huge facelift. The inside is gorgeous. They just redid everything on the outside. Full amenity with a door person, a pool, all that good stuff. And their HOAs are super low with in like the 500s, maybe low 600s at this point for a two bedroom. But you are getting everything you could possibly want. Pool, gym, security, all that good stuff. I know there's a couple of places for sale in Treo, including one of my colleagues. She just listed her gorgeous three bedroom place three bedroom place. But you know, that's Treo. My name is David Spiewak, Coldwell Banker Realty, your go-to guy for all things San Diego, including low HOAs with full amenity buildings and great deals. And of course, real estate, even though that was real estate. <laughs> <laughs>